Welcome to the Rocky Mountains. It's about 25 degrees out right now, and tonight I am winter camping out here in the top of the Rocky Mountains. I've actually pretty much never really been winter camping before, so this is kind of a first for me, especially in the vans. It's supposed to get down to about 10 degrees tonight, so it's, it's gonna get chilly. It's gonna get real chilly. See if I can't stay warm. So I already have my campsite for the night, so the first thing I wanna do is set up my van for staying here overnight. To do that, I'll begin here with pulling out and extending my 270 degree homemade awning. Once I've got the awning fully extended, my next step is to hop up on top of the van and pull it tight with the help of a few bungees. To stay warm and cook my dinner tonight, I'm planning on having a campfire. I figured that wood out here would probably be buried in snow this time of year, so I loaded some wood in my van from home. I'm throwing this wood right here for now until I start a fire in a few minutes later tonight. The next step led me to the shovel on the side of my ladder. I'm digging a small pit for the fire to sit inside. That way I can minimize melting snow putting the coals out. Dude, look at that. That awning is sick. I was hoping to find somewhere with a little more firewood. I brought some firewood, but uh, I was hoping to find somewhere with a lot more firewood and I did not find a place with more firewood. As you can see, this is a little bit barren of an area and uh, that's because all the roads are closed. Here's the road. Let me hop on the other side of the van so I can show you a little better. This is where I'm camping. That's the main road that comes in right here and is blocked. And that's where it, uh, it ends up going. So I really wanted to go up there. That was my plan, but there is snow. I can't get over that. <laughs> so this is where I'm camping, right? Right here in the middle of a parking lot, but you know what? At least I'm camping. Alrighty, camp is completely set up for the most part. Got my awning up, which I'm gonna have some sick lights on later, by the way. Vans, as good as it gets. Got the wood out here. All I need now is to start a fire. And I wanna get a fire started before it gets dark so I can start cooking some dinner because it, it's chilling off fast. It was 25 degrees when I first got here and now it's probably like 15. After that gorgeous sunset, the, the temperature just dropped and by the way just check out how incredible this sunset actually was like gosh dang those are some vivid colors and the craziest part is is that it colored a full 360 degrees around the entire horizon so everywhere i looked was freaking epic first steps first though time to get some ambiance going on here lights it up pretty freaking nice I've got to cut up this wood into some smaller chunks. That way I'm able to get a fire actually going with some kindling. The tried and true method of fire starting, the good old log cabin. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Come on, work with me here. Please. <laughs> My feet are getting cold, dude. It's pretty dark out right now. Luckily this, I have to light it up pretty good, but yeah, everything else is getting pretty dang dark and it's getting cold. You guys want to see something cool? <laughs> Lights, look at those, fun. You cannot tell me that that is not a vibe. That looks so cool. <laughs> Woo, I think it's beanie time. Ooh, it is cold tonight. It is like Super cold. For dinner tonight, I've got some brats and I'm gonna cook it in some tin foil on the fire, along with some potatoes. 
corn and carrots. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to turn out because it's pretty minimal. But I think I should cook all of them. That's a lot of sausage. But like, what am I going to do with it if I don't eat it? I don't even know. Oh my. Funky. Okay, one can open. Oh, that looks so nasty. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks disgusting. Oh, <laughs> I got, I didn't even get a whole corn. What did I get? Cream style? Bro. <laughs> Shoot, that looks like baby poo. Do you think the potatoes can save the day? Probably not, but what else is there to do but try? Canned veggies, man. <laughs> this looks disgusting. Uh, time for carrots. Okay, look at that slimy grossness. Now I just gotta season it and I'll wrap it all up, throw it on the fire. Ooh. That's a hefty boy right there. That's a lot of food. Let's throw that on the fire. Now I'll just probably let that cook for about half an hour, see where it is in a half an hour and uh, yeah, go from there. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Mm. Oh, no! No! I just seasoned my dinner with the tin foil. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that charcoal or is that... Bro, the carrots disappeared, or the, the corn disappeared. You know, this actually smells delicious. I ended up leaving these on for like, probably almost an hour and 15 minutes. Because I did not want food that was not cooked all the way. I think the meat's cooked, what the? I don't know, man, there's only one way to figure it out. Oh, that's good. That's surprisingly delicious. Dude, <laughs> I thought this was gonna be disgusting. My goodness. Mmm. Mmm. The only part I'm a little bit sad about is like the corn basically disappeared from this. I don't know where it went. <laughs> it, it's just gone. Look at this. You see corn in there? It's like a little bit right there and like a little bit right there, but you guys remember how much I put in there the first of it. Like, it was not just a little bit. There was a lot. It was more corn than anything else. And it's gone now. I don't know. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. It's kind of crazy. Oh, that's tinfoil. Eh. <laughs> that was tinfoil. <laughs> this year's been wild for me. I think it was just about a year ago. Last January, I was working at my job and I was working outside, kind of hating it because it was super cold and I just had enough of it. So I made plans to start traveling around because I figured I was young and it's time to do that. So in March of 2023, I bought Fred. I built him out over the summer and the springtime and fall, I started traveling in it. Like this has been a crazy year for me. I've done so many things and I don't know, man. It's hard to imagine that like it's actually happened weird but honestly the best part about 2023 coming to an end is that it's going to be 2024 i mean obviously but 2024 for me is going to be a crazy year guaranteed because i'm traveling now so the next year i'm going to be able to explore like the entire year it's going to be crazy man probably some of the best days of my life honestly but uh 
the goal is to head down towards uh, Death Valley. So I'm going to be passing through St. George and Zion National Park. I'll hit Death Valley and Las Vegas area. And then I'll head down through Joshua Tree and probably up to Arizona. Come April, I think I'm going to be heading to Alaska. I've got a job opportunity in Alaska out in this little small town. And I've, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it yet, but it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to go to Alaska. And I really want to. So let's hear your guys' opinions on that. I'd be working, so I wouldn't be able to make videos so much, but I would still try for sure. But uh, I'd be in Alaska, a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. So if you'd like to see me go to Alaska or just would like me to go to Alaska, tell me what you think. That or I have a job in Arizona, so. It's either Arizona or Alaska. Let me know what you think. Concord. Look at that. Mm -hmm. What the heck? Is the GoPro like jitsing out or something? What the heck? Hmm, my flashlight makes the GoPro look weird. Funny. But yeah, conquered. Look at all that. In my belly. That was. <coughs> ah! Smoke! That was three pork sausages. Each one of those is 15 grams of protein. That was 45 grams of protein. Plus all the potatoes and stuff, but those don't have much protein. I think I'm just going to enjoy the fire until it goes out now. It's cold. My temperature gauge went out. It ran out of batteries, so I don't know what temperature is it is right now. Earlier it was 25 when I first got here, 24. And the forecast says it gets down to 10. I'm guessing it's about 10 right now. It's it's chilly. So I've had about enough. I'm full. I've sat by the fire for a while and it's kind of going out now. So I think I'm going to go to bed. But first I got to shut all these lights off. Before I go in, I want to show you this flashlight that I got for Christmas. This thing, well, I'm shining it at myself right now so you can actually see me, but look at this thing. So freaking bright, look at that. Oh. If I hold a button on there, it like changes. Look at that. Oh, frick yeah. <laughs> it's so bright. The dudes watching this will understand. Flashlights are awesome. It's so bright. <sighs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so cold. I'm freezing. <sighs> Honestly, I've actually stayed pretty dang warm tonight because the fire was there. But the only thing that has got cold, a little bit chilly, is my feet. These are hiking shoes. They are excellent hiking shoes. But, uh,. They're not necessarily meant to keep your feet warm. Ah. Yeah, these bad boys are a little cold. If I'm gonna wanna stay warm tonight, I've gotta take some precautionary measures. And that's gonna start with putting up my window covers. I've gotta put those up to keep the heat in because it's gonna get down to 10 degrees tonight and that's gonna freeze me to death. I mean, that's, my water's probably gonna be frozen in the morning. So I'm gonna start putting those up. Perfect. Next up, before I get all my clothes off, because these are keeping me warm, I'm gonna get my little buddy heater and get it going and heating up this whole cabin area. I wanna get it all warm in here, that way when I finally do take my clothes off, like, I can just be warm and not have to try to heat myself up in the cold, so, yeah. Ow, my finger. <laughs> Where's the light? Ah! There we go. Okay. My little buddy's way back there. I might have to get it from above. Never mind. Little buddy heater. And then a can of propane. 
that's not very full. So I'm gonna get a second one out. Nice and full. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's a whiff of propane right there. And then this thing goes right there. And I'll put it right down here. Okay, I got the little uh, flame going. I think it just takes a minute and it'll eventually, it'll eventually light. Eventually. Taking forever. I'm a little worried it's not starting. I've been holding it for like a minute and a half straight. Normally it takes like 30 seconds at the most. That's not a good sign. Come on! Oh! Ah! It worked! So it's probably kind of hard to see it, but that's all lit and I've got a nice, nice amount of heat coming up off of that. That's gonna heat up this cabin real quick. I just gotta close up this. There we go. A nice warm cabin to be very soon. So for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bronson and this is my van called Fred, or named Fred. And I converted this thing from scratch and I've been traveling in it for about a month now. I came home for the holidays so I figured while I'm here, I might as well go out camping where it's cold. So here I am up in the mountains where it's cold. And like I said, tomorrow's New Year's Eve. So here is the build. It's uh, pretty fancy, kind of kind of hard to see the whole thing, but this is a 2001 Chevy Astro van. And I, yeah, I've been traveling in it for a month and it's been awesome so far. This is my bed. I have all cedar paneling and window covers and flooring, everything. I've got the whole, the whole kazoozle in here. The van is all wheel drive so I can get some pretty cool places. But yeah, I'm just traveling around in my van, enjoying life while I'm young. Alrighty, it's getting warm in here enough now that it's time to start, it's time to start shedding some layers. It's freaking gonna get toasty in here real quick. That heater's nice. <laughs> Underneath all my clothes, I've got a, a thermals, thermals on, so I'm gonna sleep in those and stay kind of warm. We'll use them like PJs, but I think it's gonna work pretty good. I'm not too cold. While I was traveling, I actually slept in this sleeping bag and blanket combo that I have here in 15 degree nights, and it was cold. It definitely my head was cold and it stuck out of the blankets, but For the most part my body was really warm even in 15 degree weather now 10 degree like it's gonna be tonight Might be a little bit of a stretch for this sleeping bag, but between the heater that I've got going here and these window covers that I've got Keeping the heat in I think it's gonna be enough to keep me warm. I'm really hoping I'm gonna hit the sack here in a second, but a few times throughout the night I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna well, I'm gonna set alarms so I can wake up and actually check the temperature, make sure everything's going okay, make sure I don't die because of carbon monoxide poisoning, and check in with you guys and kind of give you a little update about how's it, how it's all going. Oh, come on puppies, warm up. I know you want to stay cold. Oh. My toes are numb, like completely numb. When you do have a heater on, like this in an enclosed area, even though they are technically heater safe, you're gonna wanna make sure to open up your vents. I'm just gonna open up just a little bit. That way I can get some fresh air and get some carbon monoxide out of here. Uh, fun fact, carbon monoxide is actually slightly heavier than air, but it's close enough that it mingles in with air and like kind of floats all together. So it doesn't go to the ground and it doesn't go to the ceiling. It's just like the perfect amount of weight that it mingles in with oxygen and our atmosphere and it yeah you can't tell it's there so just make sure you open up a vent protect yourself what a life man not so bad here goes nothing Ugh. 
I really hope it stays warm. Sleeping. Oh, dude, the bed is cold. The bed is so cold right now. Oh, not ideal. Ugh. Ugh. This is gonna be cold. I'm gonna leave the heater on for now. I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone. I've gotta do that. I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone for an hour. That way it can get really, really nice and toasty in here. And uh, I'll wake up in an hour, give you a little update about the temperature, and turn the heater off. And then uh, probably try to leave it off for most of the night. If I really have to, I'll turn it back on. I'm gonna do three check-ins, so one in an hour, one at probably midnight, and then I'm gonna do one at 5 a.m. I plan on waking up at probably about 7, 7.30. That's when it gets light. So I'll give, yeah, I'll give you three checkups. I'm gonna hit the sack. I will see you all in an hour. Good night. It's so warm and cozy in here. Dude, that heater is keeping me warm. But like I said before, I'm turning the heater off now, seeing if I can go to the rest of the night. It's about 10 o'clock right now. I went to bed at 9, set my alarm for 10.15, so it's like 10.15 actually. Ugh, adios heat. It was nice knowing you, bro. No more heat. I'll see you all at midnight. Oh, that was bright. Mm. It's currently 12 a.m. The heat hasn't been on for oh two hours or so, and uh, all that heat is gone. Outside, that is. Inside in here, under my blankies, it's still pretty warm. My feet are a little bit cold but they kind of went to bed cold. I'm feeling pretty good though. I think I can make it as long as I keep my head under the covers. It's like probably 20 degrees outside of my covers. It's cold. This is it's not, not ideal, but oh, what can you do? I will see you in a few hours. I think the timer is set for 5.30. So I'll see you at 5.30 in the morning. Oh, hello from the Rocky Mountains at like 10 degrees at 5.30 a.m. I am currently under the blankies, freezing, it's cold. The sleeping bag's pretty nice, but it's, it's reaching its limits right now. I still have quite a bit of body heat, but my feet are very cold. I'm not I'm not having nice feet right now. But I don't want to start the buddy heater because ugh, I've made it this far, so I gotta keep on trucking along. That being said, I will see you all at 7:30 a.m. where hopefully it is much, 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 much warmer. Good night. Okay, where's the flashlight? Oh my gosh. That's so bright. <laughs> That's the only way you can see me. I don't know what time it is. It's probably been an hour since I last checked in, but I'm having a hard time falling back asleep because it's so cold. And when I did fall asleep, I woke up with my head out of the covers. My head's really cold. I can see my breath. It's cold, man. I'm going back under. Hopefully I don't wake up again. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. My windows are fogged over. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Good morning. I ended up sleeping until like 8.30, dude. I was planning on getting up at like 7.30. But all of my windows are completely fogged over with ice. 
this my water solid ice look at that everything is everything is frozen solid and I can't get my little buddy heater to start so uh I'm gonna get dressed real quick and hop out into the sun because it's really cold in here oh that's so cold oh my pants are frozen they're they're, they're crispy Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. Ah! Oh, my clothes are so cold. My feet are frozen, dude. My shoes were crunchy. They because of the the ice and the frozenness of it all. It is time to go outside. Oh, look at my door handle. <laughs> Oh, the frozen world. Dude, everything is covered in ice. I gotta show you this. Look at this. Everything. That's how you know it was freaking cold last night. Hopefully the sun will melt this away. It's frozen solid. That's my water. Look at how icy everything is. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Jeez. Well, luckily, look at this one, it's starting to melt off. The sun's melting it pretty quick. Wow. That's funny. Overall, last night, I did sleep pretty good. Had some crazy dreams going on, but you know what? It's pretty much what I expected. Woke up a few times because I was definitely, definitely cold. Uh, I think one of the times I checked up, the last time I checked up, I woke up just because I was cold and I figured I'd take a video, because why not? But that's kind of how most of the night went, as I'd wake up here and there because I was cold and end up falling back asleep after I curled up in a blanket or like in a ball. It wasn't bad, it was just not the best. <laughs> but now I'm kind of wanting to clean up and get the heck out of here so I can go home and take a warm shower. Now it's for the scary part. Let's see if my car will start in this cold. 
Whoa. Like a charm. Gonna let the van warm up for a while, de-ice the windows, and uh, I'm gonna get out of here because it's cold as heck. It's probably gonna take quite a while for me to be able to thaw the van. Yeah. Most of the ice is actually on the inside, so that kind of sucks. That It's all on the inside. Oh my goodness. Come on, door open. Ah. Yeah, all of it's on the inside. That's crazy. <laughs> Guess I must have had some pretty moist breath. I'm gonna move the van where the window is in the sun because it's not gonna unthaw quick. That's a cool view right there. Look at that windshield, frozen over. <sighs> Starting to thaw out, but look how much water's left on the windshield. Goodness gracious. Kind of works. That is so much moisture. I can't believe all that froze up like that. Wow. I successfully survived a night of 10 degree weather up in the mountains winter camping. Mmm. You know what? That was pretty fun. Those vibes last night with the awning out and the lights and the fire. That was pretty sweet. I liked that. If there's another storm while I'm home, a uh, uh, snowstorm out in the blizzard, I'm going to take the van out, go camping in that. Hopefully there is. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you all next time. I'm going to go take a shower.